But like sometimes when like when you when Opie does weird stuff where you yeah. just go like 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 when he said he could have been as big as as, oh, as Rogan. Rogan if he wanted to. Like mm. there was a video out today. He said he doesn't even he didn't even know if if he he doesn't even know what you look like anymore because he never watches you. It, he's so funny. Oh, it's 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 like out today, and I, I was just watching. I was looking through YouTube stuff, and then it came up, and he's like, he goes, I don't watch his stuff. Basically, like. If you were in a police lineup, he wouldn't like it was. He wouldn't even know it was you and Bobo and Gary and could Big have passed A. Him by uh, you <laughs> said you have no regrets, okay? That include Anthony. Not trolling. I do like you, but try and understand as you give out mixed signals. Okay, pause. Mix. Pause for a minute. I have not seen this. Here's what he's gonna say. <laughs> Here's what I think. Uh, Opie doesn't have any regrets. Look, we had a great career. Everything worked very well. We had a great show. It became very popular. But things, you know, went bad. And these days, look, dude, I don't even know what he looks like. I don't. So that's kind of going to be the take, I think. Pretty close. All right. Mixed signals about my relationship. What are you? T oh God. Mixed signals. I thought I found a. Um, I thought I found a friend that I could do a lot of great radio with, but I absolutely did not find a friend. And it, twenty and it's, years. And it, and it kind of sucks because uh, we had a massively successful show. There it is. But we didn't get along at all, and that's my my dilemma to this to day. With. Yeah, leave it alone. Do you, do you know what's fucking hilarious? Could you pause a minute? I knew it. Let me think. Four. I feel like a Chad for even presenting this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's fucking 10 minutes left of the show. I'd be like, hey, what about Opie? Oh, uh, the Opster. Classic, classic fucking dick fucking move on I, my part. No, no, but I just think it like I saw it today. I was like, it's like, it's, it's so, it was, it was so funny to me that I yeah. like, but, but I don't think he sees it like that. I don't, I don't know no, if he's no. doing it for that reason, but I was like, it's so funny that it was like, it'd be like, like I, if I saw Lenny Marcus, like I saw Lenny Marcus last you week. No, it's I Lenny. Knew it was Lenny. Right, right. It's like, is that Lenny? Even There's with his no mask way. on. Even with his mask on, he would know you. He, like if Opie he, passed by me, yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's Opie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he, by the way, doesn't look anything like he used to look. Yeah. He's he's got the the crazy homeless guy thing going yeah. on. But I would I just, still know I, it's I, him. Yeah, I found it so funny. It just you know with the chat stuff. I just yeah. it was so funny. That like anyway, you watch the rest. Do it's you funny. understand? Like like, for he sums up twenty years of a, a career and relationship in this. You know, we weren't friends. Fuck him. He sucked. We did, and it's like twenty years. Think of this: we dropped atom bombs on Japan in nineteen forty-five, and then twenty years after that, we're literally pals and doing business with them in the sixties. Right, right. Like everything was fine again. Right. That's how stark a change can be in the span of twenty years. Right. You can't sum it all up as it was this or this. Right. It evolved over twenty years. We had a great show in like the marriage the, the marriage like a fucking marriage and sometimes you're like you're like uh, we don't need each other anymore we're yeah, both yeah. rich we don't need each other anymore why are we doing this they're a husband like they choke their wives after 20 years they don't think back at the dancing at their wedding to that <laughs> song going oh i'm gonna choke this yeah after 20 years when she's about to walk in the room and he's got a gun a about gun. to right, shoot right. her and he's like remember that time when she we were having sex on our fucking wedding night yeah. right right wasn't it great no it, it, it evolves and changes over time. He can't see, the guy can't see anything but black and white, this or this. He's so in, incapable of seeing the idiosyncrasies, little vague things and gray well, areas. He would, then I, I was like, he's gotta be kind of kidding where if he says he didn't know, no, I think no, he doesn't not. think he'd know what you, he, he doesn't know. even know what you look like he anymore. Know. I'll knock on his fucking door. Hey, oh, it's me, take a look. See him on the street. Come on, now I gotta watch it. I, I gotta watch, watch the it. rest. I do too, yes. Oh god. I knew Anthony. I knew Anthony. I haven't known him in a I, I haven't even talked to him. I haven't even uh, been in the same room as him in over eight years. I haven't I don't even know what he looks Did like. I barely uh, check out any of his stuff. It's uh, it's uh, incredibly rare. It has to be something that falls in my lap, and then maybe I'll, I'll click on it here and there, but it's so rare I can't even tell you. So uh -huh. I honestly don't even know what the guy looks like. And for most of our relationship, we absolutely didn't get along at all. So where are the mixed That's signals? That's not even true. Like, Opie again, has always said he was for a second again. We at the end, yeah, we just didn't get along at all. But 
we were still able to. Do nothing it. happened. No. Like you didn't fuck his wife. No, no, nothing. You're right. Nothing, nothing happened. That like a tipping moment. point where you guys, I can't. I there can't, you go. I can't stand to look at this guy anymore. It was a gradual thing. Listen, yep. a lot of times when people, I, I, I don't even know if I should say this, but my parents got divorced because my dad stopped working. And my mom didn't want him around the house. And they they had enough money that they could live separately yeah. comfortably. So they're like, why torture each other? There you go. So you guys both had enough money. You made your mark. A legendary show. Why? You don't have to be together you anymore. You don't have to anymore. But, but for him, but but I find it funny just because it's like, mm. you know, with, with, like with the Chad shit, with all this stupid Chad shit. And then I watched this, but, you know, kind of a little bit by accident. And I was like... He doesn't know. He's he's saying he he, he does he doesn't know what you would look what like. I would he, look like now. It's he's like, got to. He's he can't. It's not. It wasn't that long ago. So full of shit. like he's it's he's got to be trolling everybody a little I bit. Think. Maybe maybe he's trying to get some. The thing is, every single broadcast broadcast every single fucking video he takes on his phone from his house, uh, he's got to bring up me no, or Jimmy they, or both of us. No, they ask him that. I know, but he. No, but but what else he can, is he going to talk about? That's just it. He can answer it or not. He can make it like, like it never came up in the chat. But the motherfucker will not talk about. Like talk but about. They're trolling him. Events. They're saying, "Are you, are you and Anthony going to get back together?" Yeah, yeah. No, he's going to react to it. The fans do it on purpose and to get a reaction knows that out of him. People will watch it. Right. He knows I might play it on the show like I'm doing right now. So if that's his mo, good for him. He's figured out a way to get some views. But the the truth of the matter is, the guy is 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 uh, just delusional. We had great time. The whole three years we were in Boston were really great. I think he mentioned that. Like, I think he mentioned the does Boston. He? Like I think we he were really good friends. We went out Boston. a lot, hung out, prepped for the show. He basically, all that stuff. he kind of implied that you you started playing him in Boston. Like like you realize like oh this is a good thing for me. And so I think he says that. Oh, at that's the end. so anyway. funny because I wasn't playing anyone. You, I was just like, oh, please let's. This get is this amazing because you're coming off a fucking. Yeah. A regular job. Oh, this was great. Let me let's see what he says. He always said he respects, he respects, uh, and appreciates what Ant and him did and accomplished. But he has no warm feelings towards him anymore, nor any desire to reunite. I haven't had a warm feeling towards Anthony in a very, very long time. I think mm. he did some really, really, really shitty things. That's and, another thing, and a lot call. of that happened. He's got this delusion. And it is a delusion that I did shitty things, more so than just joking and talking. A lot of the stuff I say, I say here on the show, it's like Chad and shit. Like, this is what happened. These are facts. I'm going to throw it out there. Um, I felt uh, uh, shitty that the guy didn't even try to back me up when I got fired. So that was kind of the beginning of why I would even voice some of my dis- uh, pleasures with the opster over the course of the years but he's but, implying after you got after you got fired that's when you said yeah yeah then thing. i started doing these shitty yeah, but even things. even then it would make sense it's like a, and the, when once the divorce starts then yeah. then you start taking shots at each other for one reason and or another i was trying to undermine his brother's restaurant oh. and like well, you weren't saying it well you weren't Taking shots at him while you were still working together. No, no, no. Yeah, so, so even that makes sense. You, even if you were, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even know exactly what happened, but I'm saying like once it separation starts, then, then you're naturally. It's like if you get divorced from your wife, then she's right. gonna say shit. You're gonna say shit. Oh, of course. Say through, through the through the through kids or through your lawyer. But, but here it is. If 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 everyone that we knew and worked with over the course of our career can't stand you. There's two ways you can go. Anthony. You're talking about me now? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> can't stand you. You have to think, all right, Anthony went around and undermined everybody and told them oh, what a piece of shit I was. Or the other option is way too frightening to even face. Right, right. I was a piece of shit. I treated people like garbage, and they now hate me and would never even have a relationship with me. While the guy that undermined me has a relationship with all these people still right, right. uh so it's a lot more convenient and easier to sleep at night when you think someone else fucked you over with right. with all these people so these horrible things i did to him he imagines that i ruined 
his relationships with people, which, by the way, is impossible. I don't think any one person can fuck your relationships Look with people. Look what Chad people. tried to do with Eric. Exactly. He's trying to get Eric mad at everybody. He's just trying to get everybody, uh, Eric, Eric or Iraq, uh, <laughs> mad at you and me and... Look at what they did. He didn't. Buy, he made you look like a bitch. He played you like a fool. Like a he fool. A, he don't even work there anymore. That's how fucking bad he played you. <laughs> I love it. So here's a little more of the Obster. Let's see. And and a lot of that happened while we were doing the radio show. As the years go by, I learn more and more about it, and it's unbelievable. Which is so weird. What man. did I do during? Oh my god, we were never good friends. I I I I I I, I can't do this every day, Gabriel. You do. I can't do this every day. You do. We were never good friends. I thought we were friends when we first met, and and in Boston we, we certainly were. got along like, pretty absolutely. well. And I I started thinking that we were friends, but I now question if we ever were friends. Or if he was just playing me from day one, <laughs> we were never good friends. You gotta stop. Like I said, uh, a lot of these questions that people want to know the answers. Uh, Can you guys to, pause I, it? I, I, Can you pause it? I I apologize for for introducing this. I love that's it. funny. It is that's funny. funny. You, never. No, we're playing, playing you from I'm day playing. one. You're a you're a desperate. I'm spitting on the mic. You're Dude. a desperate guy. You're coming off a fucking shit job where you're f installing air conditioning I was on Long Island. The most thankful you, person. You, you would have sucked his earth. dick, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I was so thankful and appreciative. And and it went that way. And I, I fucking appreciated. And we had fun. We would go out. Uh, after work, sometimes to a bar or hang out beforehand. Like our show started at 3 p.m. We'd get together for lunch at noon yeah. and hang out and laugh and talk about the show at a diner or something. And that was genuine friendship. I wasn't sitting there going, Mwahaha, <laughs> let me scheme and try to figure out how I could screw this guy over. Not even the least bit of me a career that I couldn't fucking imagine. Yeah. Like, of course not. It happened over the course of time. And I honestly believe a big part of what happened could have been me. I think when I broke up with my wife and hooked up with Melinda, he was like his girlfriend at the time, especially hated me at that point because I had fucked up the foursome. Right. That was right. us. We were. And that know, happens too with couples. It happens all the time. When, when you, you, you're getting divorced and then a couple and then everyone gets, who are you going to be friends with? This is like you, this is normal. Friendship. Right. This is normal shit. Thing. This is normal shit. It started know? there. But then here's what happened. When I all, personally think, uh, and then I, I won't say yeah, no, no, no. I please. just think it's more about like, you guys both had enough money where you're like, we don't have to do this anymore. We have to deal with each We've, other. We, we can we do the show better maybe not we, like maybe you not. you guys probably already peaked as as a show at that point as a Absolutely. show and then you're like Absolutely. so we're gonna pretend we're, we're we're great friends or but we're both have money we don't need each other and then naturally shit starts to fall apart fall apart it will over time it doesn't matter who you are I mean, I most married couples one radio married couples stay together because they can't afford to get divorced yeah, so yeah. once they get enough money they're like this they can afford it yeah, so that's Find it. me a radio team after 20 years that still really liked each other. There have been shows that have gone on for longer than 20 years, right. but that genuinely liked each other, were still going out, still it's a relationship like anything else, and all they can do is go south. All a relationship that, could ever Kevin, do that, from that, day one is go downhill. That L.A. show, Kevin Bean, what's the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one guy did the show from Seattle or what? From a whole other state. Yeah, they don't even. So imagine if, if people fan out for the last seven years, you right. were doing the show from your house. We or, were at or, another was, location. Yeah, I mean, that, that just no. shows right there that they don't want to even fucking see each other. He couldn't grasp the fact that I wasn't with the wife anymore. And then I think a huge part of this was that he got married and his family, his in-laws, hated the Opie and Anthony show. They did? I hate it. Why? Too dirty, too shocky jockey. Yeah, they wanted to see themselves as this upper crusty Philly family kind of Oh, thing. right. So, uh, fine. I, I don't do the show or not do the show based on what anyone fucking a family member thinks. Well, you can't change the show. Right. 
Can't for, change for, it. for your family. But he wanted to. Me and Jimmy doing some of the same shit we've done over the years. We did shit. That fucking Scott and Lacey Peterson stuff we would do was hilariously macabre. Yeah. Just brutal yeah. and hilarious. Yeah. And and then we started doing so some of the same stuff. Like Esther Koo when she brought up oh, your Oh, Esther Koo when she... <laughs> were you there that day? Oh, no, no. Oh, no but I remember, awesome. I remember... I, I could ah, just... why you do? Why you hate him? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the fucking male Esther Koo. No, Kuh. dude, I thank you for this. No, no, I feel like I'm <laughs> no, fucking... it's great. It's great. Bitch move. But I I, I, I just saw it today. I was like, this is... Uh, this this real me really hit home. He's delusional with thinking. Like, he... Opie is so black and white he's so this or that there's no gray area with this guy uh if if he doesn't like someone anymore he never liked them if if they they came into the studio and did a good break for one show they're his pal and like yeah. he he expects this loyalty out of them like he's so fucked up like that like, <laughs> and especially you're so evil business. from day one in boston you were so evil you're playing him from day one dude <laughs> wow. well i've got him just just where I wanted I got him. him wrapped around my little He's finger. He's gotten me this amazing job in radio from Tin Knocking in Boston. Afternoon radio in the number nine market in the country. Mwahaha! <laughs> I've set him up perfectly. It's so it's Like a Mr. Burns scenario. Yes! <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Was there, there had to be a little more of that. Let's, let's see. Theo. I've cut them up into videos. They're on my YouTube channel. There's a nice little playlist that's called Opie and Anthony Drama. Okay, but we were never good friends. I would, I would never consider Anthony a good friend. There, were, wow. there was a time we absolutely got along the first couple of years, and we certainly were friendly toward each other and no, that's possibly a friends. But I don't know anymore. I don't even know if that was real. I'm not an evil genius that was like plotting like that. If you think, if you don't know if we were good friends, we were good friends because yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't plotting. I, we had me, great times. Even me and Chad were friends. So it's yeah. like, so, so it's just this whole thing of like now, because he don't see Lenny. Me. You and Lenny. Yeah, me and Lenny, I used to stay at his fucking house. Oh my God. I know I'm a dick. You I know I'm a dick, but I'm that? again, I'm not plotting. Oh. He was never there when I stayed at his house. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I wouldn't stay with a Jew either. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the fucking, I got to wear the hat. Oh, did you have to rub the mezuzah <laughs> at the door? And... I had to kiss the wall. <laughs> You had to lean against <laughs> prayers and cracks. I don't know what was going on. Those stupid crackers. <laughs> Fuck that. No, but I'm saying like like Chad's doing this thing where like I'm the devil. It's like Chad, Chad, we yeah. were friends. Like I know we were friends because we would hang out. Real like friends. friends too. Yes. But now it's like this thing like I'm a douche and he and he's gonna take me out when he comes here in August, like Hannibal Lecter. Like I'm like oh. Chad, Chad, I whatever whatever happened, it's like we were friends. So now this whole thing like I'm I'm playing everybody, I'm playing E Rock. It's just it's like it's it is delusional. But the Opie thing was when I saw that I was like, This that's just funny to me because um, when he said he wouldn't know what you look like. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't even know what it looked like. Like, that's trying way too hard to make it seem like you're so don't, like, ever want us or care or whatever we did. You should go to his house and just wait outside his, just wait just outside. Wait outside his building. I'm going to stand there <laughs> and he'll walk out and be like, oh, Anthony. I go, how do you know? How the fuck do you even know it's me? <laughs> we went, here's, here's something. Years ago. Me, my wife, Jennifer, my beloved wife. Your first wife? Fucking only. But yes, yeah, so it was my first. You are correct. And uh, his girlfriend, Sandy. We we go to the movies, and it's the Clint Eastwood movie. Are you in Boston or here? This was uh, up in Boston. All right. The Bridges of Madison County. This is one of the worst movies yeah. ever. Never Clint mind one of the yeah. worst Clint Eastwood movies. Yeah. You got Clint Eastwood. You think action movie and shit. It's literally, he's a photographer that's photographing. It's the action. You say it like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, yeah. It's the action. Where's the action? <laughs> Does the bridges blow up in Madison County bridges? So uh, he blows them up and people, no. How long do we have to wait for this he's a photographer. bridge to blow up? He's a photographer photographing the bridges of Madison County. <laughs> there are these covered bridges. That's hideous. And then he, he meets up with this woman who, what's her name? The Oscar winning fucking. Meryl Streep. Meryl Street. No, it's the other one, 
right? Is it Meryl Streep? Might be Meryl Streep. I don't even care. Don't know. And, and it's one of the most boring watching old people fuck movie. It's yeah. the, 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 the where they say it's as exciting as watching old people. You're watching old people fuck. And, and, like she's getting all turned on. She starts touching her tits, looking out the window at, at an old like lasagna belly Clint Eastwood pumping water out of a pot. And we're left, I swear to you, I remember that as one of the best times joking with a friend because the girls are like, shut up, yeah. we're trying. And me and Opie are laughing our yeah. balls off, yeah. trying not to like make a spectacle of ourselves, right. but we couldn't stop laughing. And I looked at that and I remember that as being an, a great moment with right. a friend. Right. Uh, like that. Right. And he just, like, again, just goes, no, nah, I don't know. But sitting there, I was going, look, he's in my web. Oh, I've got him now with the bridges of Madison County. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my dice clay, and I'm gonna win this guy <laughs> yeah. over forever. It's gonna be over after that. That's when the Venus flytrap <laughs> closes on him, and I have him. <laughs> Like the Wrath of Khan, like I'm Khan. Give me a break, dude. There was some fun shit, and it was genuine. There wasn't some plot going on. So I all thought the he time. had to be a little paranoid. He has to be trolling the trolls a little bit. To say I don't he think doesn't, so. He doesn't know if he would. Evan, I don't. He doesn't think know what so, you look man. like anymore. I don't think so. I think he genuinely believe he has to. the The truth is frightening, <laughs> so he has to believe that I was never his friend. Because if I was, then something went wrong. And now you have to think what went wrong, and maybe I was responsible. And, and, and it brings up a bunch of questions he doesn't want to ask himself. But there were plenty of moments like that that I vividly remember as being friends with yeah, this guy. We're, like we're having a genuine And having a genuine friend time. time. Right, right. <laughs> but, wow. Ooh, Clint Eastwood, look at this. I hope he's not on to me. He's <laughs> laughing pretty hard, but he might know my scheme. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Ah, oh, the Obster. Right. I'm going to go across the street and have a, a drink, I think, for uh, St. Patty's Day. Hey. Kevin Brennan, Jesus fucking Christ, you are a goddamn joy. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a joy to behold.